guys with this kind of design trust me you make a whole lot of money it's very easy to create and it comes out very unique simple and elegant okay so let's go ahead to learn how i achieve this so at first i'm starting with my crinoline and the length i'm using here is length of 23 inches i also have this millinery wire which is the flexible type and it's also at the same length as my crinoline which is 23 inches now when I pick up my crinoline, I folded it into two. I folded the width into two. Then I will go ahead to fix the millinery wire at the tip of this folded crinoline. Alright? So you can use your fishing line and needle or you can use your normal thread and fix this. Okay? So you simply hand stitch it from the very first uh, end to the other end. Okay? So let's go ahead to do this, then we'll move to the next step. If you are new to my channel, welcome to this tutorial. And to all my subscribers, I appreciate you all. Thank you for always joining me and sticking to this channel. I believe you are finding value and I also enjoy teaching you all. Alright? So if you find value in my video, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel to stay updated once I drop my tutorials. All right, so I'm still simply attaching the crino the millinery wire at the tip of my crinoline. The millinery wire I used here is that of the flexible type. You know, there are two types, one that is very strong that you can bend, and then we have the regular flexible type which can be bendable, okay? So that is simply what I am fixing at the tip of the crinoline. Alright guys, so I'm done stitching this wire at the crinoline, okay? So I'm going ahead to cut off the excess. Can you see how it stays? So right now, I just want to tie the ends together, okay? So I'm simply using my thread as well to tie that end together. Also, I'm sure to repeat this thing for the other end. And you can also go ahead to apply a little glue after tying it, just to ensure it sticks together and the thread also stick that it doesn't lose okay so simply tie this and apply a little glue then you go ahead to work with it okay so next thing now is to cover up the wire so that it won't be visible while uh, creating your design okay and i'm using this velvet trimming you can use your bias you can use your lace you can use anything of your choice to close up the wire from being visible okay so i'll go right now to sew it with my sewing machine and this is what i have at the end all right so right now let's go ahead to work with it on our alice band so you stay tuned and keep watching so that you find out how i'm going to be achieving that placement on the alice band okay so first thing i placed it this way after which i will hand stitch it at that point and then go ahead to form the other spiral at the end okay so keep watching and if you find value in my tutorial please go ahead to give me a thumbs up if you are yet to subscribe to this channel go ahead to do so so that you stay updated once i release new videos on this channel all right thank you
Okay, guys, so I believe you followed all through. Can you see what we achieved here? So simple, so classy, so unique. See, you can actually rock this without going further to apply any other design. Can you see how classy it looks? Okay, but anyway, we'll go ahead to add some feathers to it just to make it look more beautiful. Okay, so right here, you hand stitch it and then apply your glue. Or you glue first before applying, before hand stitching. All right, any way you choose, just make sure that it sticks very well and is strong so that it doesn't separate while delivering to your client or for your own personal use. Just make sure it sticks so well right there. All right, so keep watching and keep enjoying this tutorial. Don't forget to like, don't forget to leave me a comment if you have any question at all. And also go ahead to subscribe to this channel so that you stay updated once I draw more tutorials on how to make your fascinators or your fascinators design. Alright? So keep watching. So now that I'm done stitching my feathers, I'm simply using the same trimming I used to tape the crinoline to also cover up the stitches, right? Don't forget that you can use your roses, you can use your beads or your pearls, you can use anything of your choice or even the less trimmings to just style it right there or just cover it up. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm simply using the same trimming to also cover up those thread and the stitches right there. All right, so this is simply how you achieve this very beautiful design, and it looks so simple, classy, and unique. All right, I hope you find value watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. If you do so, Go ahead to give me a thumbs up, okay? I'll see you all in my next class. Bye-bye.